Hello everyone, I'm Felipe from Electric Bike Advisor and today I'm reviewing another XDS model, the E-Micro uh, folding electric bike with a lot of capabilities different configuration compared to other brands that are offering folding services as well and yeah, a unique design when folding so something that I'm going to show you in a minute in this review but also importantly I want to test the efficiency of the motor battery range gear system performance and all those important things so yeah stay in the review and uh, yeah I want to acknowledge again Ivan cycles that provided the electric bike for review today all right so quickly showing what this e-micro has so a 250 front hub motor ikema uh, 160 rotors with mechanical brake system uh, of course not suspension front and rear mod guard plastic made cst tires this is 16 by 9 195 inches folding mechanism so we'll have one point two and then a third point to fold the whole system rear rack with seven kilograms capacity carry weight which is not too too much of course uh, nexus gear system with seven speed uh, capability as well uh, single crank set with aluminum uh, plate to protect you from greasing your pants or things like that or the chain coming off the cockpit with the nexus gear system again twist mode configuration bell and then the uh, controller also in terms of accessories front light rear light activated when the bike is activated and of course this doesn't operate and an adjustable seat post I believe it's gonna be for people between 155 centimeters to roughly 185 yeah this is a very long post but I actually I'm 180 and I didn't feel that 100% comfortable with that post that long but I seen feeling that if it's gonna break or not also the folding system which is quite different from what we are used to see uh, but yeah, we'll see in a minute so one thing here this bike doesn't have any kickstand uh, included but these wheels actually are gonna work as a kickstand so basically you have to open here and then fold it like this and this is gonna um, support the bike okay so testing the weight of the e-micro and right now I got 18 kilograms roughly okay so testing pedal assist one gear three on a steep incline for motor performance okay doesn't feel too bad actually feel like the motor is doing a good job in this very steep incline uh, of course I'm pedaling slightly hard but it's not too straining so that's actually doing great it's in the strongest pedal assist number five gear three same step incline wow okay pretty happy with the motor power and the actual torque of the motor is uh is very strong um i don't think there's much difference from three and five in this sense feel the motor still provides of course a little bit more power and i'm just barely pedaling i'm going really easy at almost 8k case per hour the folding process of the e-micro there's a lever here that you have to press to unlock this section of the bike so you press it lift the bike a little bit and then that rear part is gonna pretty much hold the bike which as you see if you're happy with that you don't need to do anything else but if you wanna if you need to fold it for um, further then you have to come here 
the middle the middle bit and do that and then opening that section and the last part that you have to do is undoing this bit so pressing this uh, point here to open this lock and dropping the stem so quickly to show the unfolding process let's see so pretty much lifting the stem making sure this is properly resting here then you secure it there now you have to somehow go around and then securing this section and the last part is about jamming here the rear wheel until you go forward and locks the system in there okay so my final impressions of the xds e micro um what can i say it has a few nice things that can provide benefits to a rider uh, the first thing is of course its weight 18 kilograms not too bad compared to other e-bikes as well out there like the xds ect it's a little bit heavier so this one has that plus in that sense also the controller that is easy to read in low light conditions and providing minimum readouts like battery level uh, and then of course the speed that you're traveling and well are really basic ones uh, also the gear system the nexus i found it quite smooth responsive um, yeah super easy to operate as well uh, the range mm, might be a little bit too low no more than 40 k's to 50 k's going on pedal assist one which is not that much of course but you got a small battery smallish battery so not too surprising the other thing that i liked is when folding the bike and wanting to have some sort of mechanism to support it even though there is no kickstand i have the rear rack which pretty much is used for the same purpose super easy to fold in there and quickly support it also i want to mention about the power of the motor it was surprisingly strong for a front wheel front hub motor 250 watts it was so responsive smooth very keen to give me some assistance and power my pedaling was super smooth so no complication in that there is though one thing that for front hub motor is like traction can be compromised especially on wet conditions uh, so in that sense it'll be ideal to have a brake sensor to help you control the power of the motor but honestly i didn't feel unsafe which is great one thing that i didn't like and i, I was like oh my god why they did it this way was the <laughs> folding process it was <laughs> not that easy to to fold it though the unfolding process was quite easy um, just pretty much doing the reverse process of the folding thing if you want to have a look about this e-bike i'd suggest going to your nearest bike shop in your area or simply go to and visit the bike shop where i source this e-bike